There it is. Okay. Okay. Hi, folks. Today we are sitting Hi. down with Leanne Sergio <laughs> of Junk and More. <laughs> she is going to be a vendor at our March 23rd and 24th Des Moines New Age and Psychic Fair down at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. So, Leanne, tell us a little bit more about you. Um, so, I started Junk and More about a year ago, mm -hmm. um, but I've had it, I've been doing stuff like this for probably five years. Um, okay. I have finally just kind of gone out on my own about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, I do necklaces, um, as you can see, he's right here. I was going to say, go ahead and hold that up. <laughs> there you go. Let's get a nice shot of that. That looks gorgeous. And then um, I like to do repurp repurposing items, and um, but that's more for the summer. Okay. Right now. All right. Well, I hear you have some wonderful and lovely pieces. I'm going to be really anxious to see those on display at the fair. Yeah. Um, do you want your son to poke his head in and say hi? Sure. Come on over and say hi. It's okay. This is Mason. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and now will Mason be helping you out at the fair? Uh, yes. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, hey, why do you have kids if you can't have free labor? Well, I don't know if the, he's with his dad okay. or not. Me. <laughs> I know. Um, so, how did you get started? Um, I got bored. Okay. <laughs> I got bored and I started um, doing crafts in my garage at one point. And, mm -hmm. um, I had seen stuff like this being made and I got to reading on it and just started doing it. So. Okay. What really inspired you, though, outside of boredom? <laughs> um, just... I love craft shows or fairs and got to go in that way, I guess. You really like the energy of them, huh? Yeah. They're a fun energy yeah. to be in. I should know. I've been to a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're a fun energy, and it's a really good way to belong. It's a really good way right. to connect with different people, you know? Right. And it's always fun when you see your work on somebody else <laughs> or in their home, and they're like, oh, my God, I love this. And you're like, thank you. I loved making it so much. The funny part is, a funny story is... Uh, a couple years ago, I was doing a craft show. I actually had um, a friend, which we're no longer friends, but um, I met the girl that cuts my hair. Nice. Yeah, she went around passing out cards. I'm like, that was Share, a... Show your hair. Show oh. your hair. There we go. All right. So what's her name and number now? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Hair by Sammy Joe. Okay. All right. <laughs> and she's on Facebook. Okay. So she's good. She did good. Job. I want to say good kid because she's like the son, my son's age, but uh -huh. well, my she... older son, not that son. She, I was gonna say that's a prodigy <laughs> on your hands there. <laughs> so yeah, she did a good job. I like it. I love it. I love how she does it. So, what is the best part about this business for you? Um, being able to create things for people, um, as you can tell, this one I believe has seashells on it. Mm -hmm. Um, seashells can create love and, um, energy around you. Um, I try to look up different things like rose quartz is usually the one everybody goes towards. Um, just different things like that. Uh, so there is a purpose behind everything you make. Right, right. That's wonderful. So it is purposely made. I like right, that. Right, Yes, awesome. Right. Say that next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay. So you've been doing this, you say, for how long? Oh, the necklaces I've only been doing like about a year, but I've been repurposing stuff for probably five years. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. so this is definitely something you like and love and enjoy. Yeah. Um, what keeps you going? What keeps you doing it? I just love doing it. It's my my outlet to get away from everything. Mm -hmm. um, I'll sit for hours and do something. Um, I came across the Facebook post where they were making roses out of ribbon. Mm -hmm. um, and so I sat down one night and started making them. And my mom's like, really? Those are really neat. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the ribbon roses are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, it's stuff like that, and okay. I come across, um, I'm one of those crazy ladies out junkin' mm -hmm. when it comes springtime, and don't laugh because I'll make you go. <laughs> um, it would be a good experience for him. Oh, he loved going. I was going to say, my dad used to drag me everywhere with him. He went <laughs> I, junkie to use bookstores <laughs> and everything. Why do you think I'm here doing this? Unless, <laughs> unless it's in the um, 
the area we live in. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I like taking stuff from there and like the ribbon. I got a box of ribbon. I and I found it mm -hmm. on the curb. Someone had put it out, and um, you could tell they'd had a garage sale and yeah. didn't sell it. So now I'm taking it and making ribbon <laughs> roses out of it. So I like it. I like yeah. it. It's got some serious Scorpio energy going on, even though you're a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can take something that was going to go to waste and make it absolutely beautiful. Right. I love that. All right. The desk, like my desk at home, um, is an antique, and I refurnished that. And, wow. Um, my office chair was a found on the curb. Um, okay. Spring junking. Okay. Uh, just... I just don't go randomly dumpster <laughs> diving, but I have a purpose of things. So I actually met a guy out in Colorado when I was doing um, some markets out there. He did. He would just go and dumpster dive and sell mm -hmm. the stuff. I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> someone, you got said some stones on you. <laughs> someone said I should Someone said I should head up to Ames when the kids move out because actually, yeah, that would be great for you. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> and I've taken things like <sighs> going to neighborhoods and find. Perfectly fine little kid toys. Clean them up, and I have a garage sale, and I okay. sell them really cheap. Okay. So, yeah, that's awesome. Very thrifty. I like it. <laughs> so, what is your? You, you've been doing this about five years. What is your best story with a client so far? Do you have just one? Um, just no, not really, because it's my favorite time is when they. Um, well, recently I sold one of these necklaces. Um, I do custom ones like with family pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I did a, a queen one and um, a friend of mine. Queen bought. as in Freddie, Freddie Mercury? Mercury? Okay, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, Queen Elizabeth, and where are we going with no, this? No, <laughs> Freddie Mercury. And um, she bought it for her boss and I guess the boss absolutely loved it. And, That's great. Um, I had a woman... It was a couple of years ago. Um, I had a little secretary's desk that I refinished and painted, and she bought it, and she was actually from Missouri, so I know my pieces are everywhere. That is great. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that fun when you uh, yeah. know they travel yeah. to different states? It's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, craziest story. <laughs> Not with a client. Oh, like, gosh. Probably out junking. Okay, um, yeah. Let's hear a junking story. Um, That's going to be fun. Oh, your son just smiled. <laughs> I know, okay. You. And we're seeing the reaction. <laughs> All right. Um, that should be good. <laughs> there's always, you get into these neighborhoods, and it's usually nighttime when we go do it. And oh, my God. <laughs> you get lost. So, wait a minute. Are you guys the raccoons of, like, the area? <laughs> This, this is awesome. Okay. <laughs> you just you just never know what you're going to find. We keep going. And then someone falls asleep on me and it doesn't help. Yeah. Um, but no. It's, it's nighttime. He's tired. <laughs> He's been up all day. Um, but the funniest part is when you um, go into a neighborhood and you get lost. Oh, gosh. And you have to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. You find a tree. I was going to say, we'll be like the raccoons, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't go anybody's yards. I've gone find an empty lot or something. <laughs> <laughs> or kaibos. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember those days snow shoveling with Dad. It's like, Dad. He's like, nope, we're not talking. I'm like, Dad. I gotta go. <laughs> I remember those days. Uh, what was it? Oh, no, that was something else. A Gatorade bottle. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, and we're seeing the reaction. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, that's, I, I will say this. It's um, when we go junkin'. Uh, my oldest boy doesn't really do it anymore. He's got his own life, but. Um, He's like, I'm done, Mom. I'm just done. But it's fun. It's like family time, and we love yeah. doing it. I'm not a, um, that's the mo some of the most amazing bonding time. Right. I can tell you as a kid, I mean, dude, I'm 36, about to be 37. I went through this with my dad, and it was awesome. And you know what? I even loved it when it was happening. Yeah. Because yeah. I got to be with him. I got to go. I got to spend time. I got to see all this cool stuff, you know? I'm, I'm waiting for his reaction. <laughs> 
Let's catch the pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, just... It's, it, you know, people... Oh, we've got two watchers. Oh, hi. Cool. Hi, Chris. Hi, Dennis. Mwah. Um. No, I just... I think it's... I think people just don't care and they throw stuff out. But that's okay. Yeah. That's why there's a place for everybody. Yeah. One man junk is another man's treasure. Isn't that the saying? Yep. yep. That's true. Yep. All right. So, yeah, it's it's a good time. Dennis McCullough, I have a lawnmower you can have that is just taking up space. No, I don't want a lawnmower. Okay, well, he tried. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have some connections that would take lawnmowers and mm -hmm. fix them and... That's kind of a pain to try to get those. So. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You have gasoline, and yeah, yeah. I don't no, like I doing it. I get that. I get that. So, so yeah. So, you're going to be in our fair March 23rd and 24th. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited and looking forward to in the fair? Just the different vendors. I like the. I I like walking around. Oh, okay. um, oh by the way, we are going to have a DJ there and a fire spinner. Ooh, cool. Yeah. So we've got Andalusia Foods, a DJ, and a fire spitter, and Spirit Medium Galleries. So far. Cool. Yeah. I'm working on getting a hula hooper. Yeah, that's right. This is going to be that kind of psychic fair. We also have an art exhibit. So, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I just I like seeing what other people made. This I'm really excited because this is my first solo fair. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm honored. We get to be your first solo fair. Yeah, cool. I've always done it with someone. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh Dennis, I'm sorry. sorry he Dennis. gave us a sad emoji. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Never be pressured into taking junk. <laughs> Even if it's at your house. Exactly. <laughs> Never be pressured. Um, <clears throat> no, it, I'm, I'm excited. I've never done it on my own, so. Well, we are excited to have you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay. Okay, now. To wrap up, is there anything you'd like to tell people, a little message, inspiration, people that have come to the fair, people that are going to be watching this, anything like that? Is there any personal message you would like to put out there? Um, right now, probably my biggest message is no matter how, how far you get knocked down, there's always a way up, and I'm living proof of it. So I'm still crawling. Doesn't, doesn't I'll, I'll get you're there. Still, you're still going. That's I'm okay. still going. <laughs> yeah. All so. right. Well, thank you for sitting yeah, here you're with welcome. us today. Thanks for taking the time because it is snowing outside. And love you all. See you at the fair. Bye, Bye. for now.